Hey everybody, what's up if you're new to my channel? My name is Chris Clementor, friend of my Clementines. Welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. That was my audition tape for the live action Lion King. Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy, Buy it all. Get your f***ing ass up and join my Patreon. It is my birthday week. I had no idea until literally this weekend that my birthday is this weekend. I'm turning 29 and I know a lot of people are gonna call me old. Go fuck yourself, bitch. It is terrifying that I'm entering my last year of my 20s, but I am excited like to grow up and get older and like 30s. Oh my god, girl, we're gonna party. But right now it's a nice gloomy Monday. I just made some coffee and I'm making some sage iced tea right now. Just remember that I have two live plants now, so I'm gonna go water them. Drink up, drink up my baby. I am very excited because I have a cleaner coming today. The house is still very much covered in like construction debris. Not debris, like dust. Mondays are usually just like meetings and errands day. It is Halloween, so I do need to run out and get candy. Although the last time I did this, I spent $60 and literally not a single person came to my fucking door. <sighs> Yeah. Okay. I just hung this mirror right at this entranceway so I can check myself before I go out. My brand new cleaners just came. And guys, who knew that all I needed to feel excited about this was a clean house? First of all, the little details. <laughs> Screaming. They also had these two towels on the counter like a swan. Like two swans making a heart. Oh my god, in this bathroom, see, look at this. This is the... <laughs> also, I got Halloween candy, so... I figure I should put it in a bowl. Look at that. I'm a homemaker. Miss Patrice, your match in the kitchen. You really are, I meant I to know. tell you that like 12 minutes ago. Patrice and I literally have known each other since... <laughs> Kindergarten? For First sure. grade? Too fucking long. <laughs> That's for sure. But she's home for a wedding, and that means we get to hang out. Hee <laughs> hee. Guys, we just got a very exciting package. Oh yeah, I also have a wig on, just so nobody really notices me at my front door, and then knows where my house is, you know? Anyways, the main piece of excitement is that I finally got middle kid samples, and I haven't opened it. Oh my god. Wow. <gasps> oh my god, this one looks 10 times better. Ooh. Wow, <gasps> this turned out better than I expected. You guys, I am gagged, gopped, begoogled, and bubbled. I look fucking insane on this. However, if you want updates, be sure to follow at MiddleKid on Instagram and also go to middlekid.supply and put in your email to get updates. The shit's coming, bitch. I am so excited. For a while, I was dead ass thinking like, is this something I even want to be doing anymore? Like, it's just wanting it to be exactly how I want it to be is such a process, it's really brutal. I've been like, even just one, like is this something I wanna do anymore? And seeing these samples, I'm like, oh my God, Chris, don't ever be such a dumb bitch again. <laughs> now I'm kind of waiting for trick or treaters. When I was younger, my great aunt Mayor, my great aunt Bet, would come down on Halloween and do Halloween activities with us. We would always order Chinese food, so I'm thinking I might order some Chinese food because I'm feeling a little nostalgic and I miss them. But book? It's just you and I. I love you, stupid. I love you, stupid. I love you, stupid. Already, I changed. I'm a Chad. So, this is the new fit. Oh, I answered the door for the first set of trick-or-treaters. And I was greeted with, Hi, Chris. Oh my god, it's Booger. Okay. Trick-or-treat. Oh, oops, that's my dinner. Do you want any candy? Sure. All right. My first Halloween in this house started out really fun. And now it's ending with people ding-dong ditching me. Who know who I am. So, that's really awful and I just don't feel comfortable. I feel so uncomfortable in my house. Just finished having like a panic attack. Good morning, it is Tuesday. I am eating some leftovers. We just finished filming the birthday podcast episode. This booger's here. I'm gonna try and get some house things done like curtains hung and some more stuff in my office put away. <laughs> So I finished putting up the curtains in the guest room and they look good. Now I am probably gonna run out and do a few errands. I also filmed a little fashion shopping haul for my Patreon, which is down below if you wanna go check that out. I love my little Patreon. Mm. Stretch it out, mama. Stretch it out. I wish you could come with me for errands. So I'm back from errands and I feel brain dead. It just means I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna make some dinner. I forgot I have so much, oh my gosh. I'm the creative advisor for Loopy and they came out with 
protein pasta. I'm not saying this with any bias. I'm obsessed, and this is probably my favorite protein pasta. Like all of the Loopy products, they use the Lupini bean as like the main source of protein, which is like phenomenal. I love pasta, but I can't always eat pasta the way I do. Which Oh, oh my god, I just bit my fucking mouth. Oh. Anyways, that's why I love protein pasta. I mean, look at this. These stats don't lie. Like, why would I have that or that when I can have this? And all of that fiber. Of course, it's gluten-free, which I love, but it's also free of corn and soy as well. I'm gonna put a link down below, and you can use code ChrisK20 on Amazon and literally get money off. You are welcome. I live for this, and I cannot wait to eat it. I am also gonna put it with these Beyond Meatballs, and I just need to stop vlogging because I'm ready to eat my hands. Also, another thing is that Loopy doesn't do that annoying foaming over the top shit. If you know, you know. We have the final product, and oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go inhale this in private. Be Are you okay, bud? What the fuck was that? Do you have anything to say to yourself? So I finished dinner and played some Fortnite with Andrew. But I wanted to fix the window treatments in my bedroom because the sun shines through my window every morning. I've also been waking up really late because my curtains are like blackout. So I wanted to find a happy medium to let the sun wake me up earlier but not sweat my balls off. So I got a double curtain rod, that way I could put shears and leave that open and kind of filter out some of the sun. And it just looks so pretty. But I'm super excited about that and now I'm gonna go shower and call it a day. So it's the next day and it turns out that these shears did not help me wake up any earlier. But I did work out today, so. A win is a win. A win is a win. Before I go grocery shopping, I just made some coffee. I just called my Nana who's been in the hospital for a little bit and it's just really hard. It's just really hard watching people who have helped form and shape your life be so scared. It's just a lot. And my Nana is always so badass. She like literally walks faster than I do and just to see her like this and hear, just to hear her like this is... <sighs> My mom's been there and back a lot and she's up there right now and we FaceTimed last night and just like sobbed on the phone. I was lucky and my Nana's siblings lived locally as well so they felt like extended grandparents and my Nana's really kind of just my last grandparent on my mom's side and it's just kind of a lot to grasp. <sighs> Wow, I look like a salamander. So I just got home from grocery shopping and there was a brand new Wegmans that opened like five minutes from my house. So I went there for the first time. I literally don't really have food here. So I was kind of like stocking up my house slash, oh my God, I'm gonna have a filled fridge. My mom is here. Ah, get the fucking riled up, hey. Mom, people love you. What do you want to tell the people? I'm tired tonight. Okay. Long, long week. However, I'm taking my sexily stocked home and I'm making us curry. I followed no recipe, but I feel like I got it. I have tofu in the oven and I'm waiting for that to be done so I can throw some cauliflower in as well. Mom and Booger are besties. It is done, finally. Finally! Okay, chill out. <laughs> my legs from working out are so sore. Look what just went in my bathroom! Hey there, guys! Woo! This is <laughs> so sexy! Oh my god! Like, who me? Who me? Who me? We have to wait to hang that light until this mirror is more set in and dry. Hello vlog! It is Friday, November 4th, the day before my 29th birthday. I'm heading to Becky and Taylor's house and Dory is joining us as well and we are just gonna have a little weekend. We're gonna go bowling, we're gonna go to a brewery, we're gonna go out to dinner. We're just gonna have a chill, low-key, fun time. We are here and Becky, Dory, and I are getting our nails done. I'm also having the giant calluses on my toes scrubbed off. Thank you. Oh my god, flip-flops was so smart. Becky and Taylor decorated. All right, we didn't need to put my age up there. That was fucked up. This is so fucking cute. Alrighty, I just finished filming the celebrity Halloween video that you've all seen by now. If you haven't, how fucking dare you? And now it's time for the party to start. Roll the birthday montage. <laughs> Right 
right foot yellow. <gasps> Good girl! <laughs> She's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> My birthday footage has just been us clinking drinks. So it's Monday and I left Becky and Taylor's and it was just super fun to kick it with some of my oldest friends. We just like had a super chill, fun weekend. I'm like forever grateful for them for it. As well as like all of my friends and people who reached out and said happy birthday and just like thought of me. I'm definitely having like a I'm lonely, I have no friends here kind of day. Not to mention I'm just feeling wildly unsuccessful. But that's for another day. The main reason I pulled out my camera was because I'm about to hop on a call about about the renderings for my closet. Let's go see what my closet's gonna look like. Are those going to be sticking out or is that just the way it looks on the render? Yes. That comes out to the same length as- As here? Yeah. Is it possible to have shelves build up? Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday. I didn't even film a follow-up to the closet render. I was just focused on making sure I was communicating as best as I could through a computer screen. But the closet looks really great in terms of the render and all of the different parts to it. Yesterday I was in just like a really dark place. As y'all know, I've been in that kind of place for a while and I really am just wanting to not be. I want to be positive and enjoy life and all of that. I'm really going to take today to put my head down and like charge the mountain full on. I'm going to try and really get as much done in my house as possible in as many rooms as possible. I want to get my office close to done. I want to get the boxes for my bathroom all put away. I'm just definitely reaching a point where it's like, okay, Chris, you can't keep sitting around. You have an off day. Get this done. We'll say, look at how fun of a mug this is that uh, the people at S gave me for my birthday. I've made some good progress and I'm taking a break because it is election day and I'm of course gonna go fucking vote. While I'm out voting, I'm gonna run to Target and get some extension cords and some curtains for my office and maybe some other things and then I'm gonna come home and continue to kick ass because I am on like, I don't even know. Woo! We just finished voting! I didn't get a sticker though, and I'm kinda pissed about it. But I'll probably check back in with y'all after I am done with Target and I'm back home. I'm back from Target and I'm making myself some lunch. I don't know if I vlogged this, but last week I made this like tuna melt, but it's all gluten-free and vegan. If you wanna see how to make the tuna salad part, I made it on my Patreon. I've been craving it ever since, and this time I put arugula on it. Oh my god, look at how gorgeous she is. Ah! I literally almost just started drooling. It's the end of the day. But let me show you guys everything I got done today. I wanna say, it's not like a lot, but to me it feels like I really like made a push. First I had a box in my garage which had that tree in and I love it there much more than that one. In my office I have curtains. I also started a little gallery wall here with all of my like work stuff. I'm looking to get a low bookshelf to maybe go around the corner to put all the books and like have lamps and stuff. I know it's hard to tell, but I literally like cleaned out a lot of stuff in my office, which yeah, now that I'm saying that really, did I? I also got one of those flat outlets to go behind Booger's crate in the laundry room. So I could have the dicing cord run up. I also did drill a um, massive hole into the wall. Yes. I also got some boxes out of my bedroom. These boxes are my records, but I pretty much have all the boxes out of here. Yes, I emptied them onto the top of my couch. To quote the TikTok sound, I literally cannot get out of my head. A win is a win. Is that really all I got done today? Good morning. It is Wednesday. Booger surgery day. Is it your surgery day? Girl, you shouldn't. No, 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 no. You aren't reading the room. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. It's all gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. I wish I had your spirit today, Bug. Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, you're giving me the bite you want, Bug. I love you. See, so I'll get her checked in. Sounds Kyle. good. Thanks, Chris. Come she on. has to come home. So I just got back home. Booger is heading into surgery. My Nana is also heading into heart surgery. Just having some of the two most important living things go into surgery at literally the same time on the same day is... <laughs> 
A lot. God, thank you for your strongest battle. I am not your strongest soldier, though. That is for sure. I'm currently distracting myself by making marinara sauce from scratch, which I've literally never done. I've only made tomato soup from scratch. But I'm making this on my Patreon. If you want to go watch it, it'll be linked down below. Patreon.com slash Chris Clemens. Go get it, girl. I just got a call that Booger is out of surgery and is coming out of anesthesia, which is great. I'm going to pick her up in a few hours, probably, but I have some meetings to take. You home? Are you home, baby? I missed you. I'm so glad that you're okay. So glad that you're okay. I know today's probably been crazy, but you have no painkillers. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Good morning. I'm so out of breath because I just walked this giant painting from my mom's house to mine. If you guys don't remember, I bought this from an artist named Ty Maynard. She is amazing. It looks so good and I was honestly thinking of putting it here in the kitchen right there, but this gets direct sunlight in the morning. The other place I was thinking is like right up at the top of the stairs so when you're walking up you see it. I also got this pumpkin Le Creuset. Like, are you kidding me? I don't know what it is but I am just like such a whore for fall. I did trim her cone and put duct tape around it to prevent the edges from hitting, but it just doesn't need to be this big. She just can't touch this ear. I love you, baby. After many hours of debation, I... Debation? What is... De... Debate. Yep. After many hours of debate. Thank you. I have decided that this painting is best at the top of the stairs, and I don't regret my decision at all. And this, like, little hallway light spotlights it perfectly. Today was kind of a chaotic one, and I didn't really vlog, but a lot happened. I started my day at 4.30 in the morning to booger licking the cone on her head, and if you know anything about her, her licking sounds are so fucking loud. So started my day literally at the bottom. But like I said, it was a big one because I got lots of deliveries. The first thing is this chocolate brown <laughs> set. I saw that they came out with brown ones and I was like, okay, well, shit. Then I forgot that my lamps from my bedroom were getting delivered, guys. Come look at this. Okay, on camera, it looks just like normal bedroom lighting, but the light that these create <gasps> are so pretty. The base is like jade or something. I don't know. It provides a very nice light green. And then I had to empty out my entire closet because the container store was measuring it just so that the built-ins can get ordered and then this can kind of fucking hopefully be done soon. And then, guys... Today was kitchen stool delivery day. Here they are. They do stick out a little more than I wanted, but what I should have done is just made my counter fucking bigger. And then I moved some artwork around, courtesy of my mom. These sides have to come in a little bit. But oh my God, look how good this looks. And then I hung this painting in my front hallway, and I swear to God, guys, it feels like it was, like, meant for here. My mom and I had such a fun night. We're gonna go chill now, but had to update y'all. It's Sunday, and I'm about to edit this vlog, but... This weekend, I just spent time with family. The last two weeks have been really hard on me, just in terms of all of the personal ups and downs that have come with it. I'm really just so drained, and I have just such a reminder of what is important in life, so I just kind of spent the weekend with my family. Having fun, making memories, all that shit without a camera. I'm gonna try and record a stranger's video this week, so look forward to that. And I love you guys so much. Thanks for always supporting. I don't, I don't understand it. I really don't, but I appreciate it. Mwah. Bye.